Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. Welcome to my channel. Crafting in My PJs is a channel dedicated to quick, easy crafts anybody can do, and most of my crafts come from Dollar Tree. That's my favorite place. Not all, but most come from Dollar Tree. Well, today we have a an adorable Christmas decoration for you to do. Now, this decoration would be great on if you have like a big tree in your front yard and you hang ornaments from it, like the hanging kind, that would be great. If you have like my daughter, I'm actually making this for my daughter. She has an iron banister in front of her house and we are going to string them on that banister or hang them from the banister. So it's a type of decoration that can hang and you can see both sides. You can use it as, an, as a door hanger, that would be fine too. All right, so let's, let's just look at what we're gonna make. But before we do that, if you're a subscriber to my channel, thank you very much. If you're not, please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are a um, new person, welcome. If you're a returning friend, glad to have you back. And everybody watching this video, before we get much further, go ahead and give me that thumbs up, a like, so that, you know, everybody, this video will play more for other people to see. I'd appreciate that too. All right, so I'm gonna bring you down to the table and I'm going to show you what we're gonna work on today. All right, down to the table. All right, so our project today consists of most of the supplies coming from Dollar Tree. The first thing we're gonna use are these, wait, I'm gonna cut it so you can see. This was kind of, I never do a prototype, but I kind of felt like I had to at least experiment a little bit with these. This, I can never get those. So um, we are using the wreath frames from Dollar Tree and I chose the star pattern. If you see another uh, shape that you like better, then by all means invest in those. Basically what we want is we want a frame that is going to fit together. So you're gonna have two pieces and they're gonna to fit together. Oh, it's still connected. There we go. Two pieces, so these are two of those star pieces. These wreath things are curved, so I put uh, a front to a back, just like that, and we atta I attached using some cable ties and so that's the other thing you need it's a pack of cable ties from Dollar Tree um, if you choose a different shape than a star and because I'm at Christmas time I'm choosing the star uh, if you choose a circle you just have to make sure that all of the pieces can be sealed up so that um, what we put inside doesn't fall out so that's the best I can tell you with that. All right, so these come in green. You can leave them green. I mean, green is a Christmas color, but we did decide, my daughter and I, because again, this is for her, we decided to go ahead and paint them silver. So now this is not a Dollar Tree product. I went over to Michael's and I bought some spray paint. I thought I bought gold spray paint. And I guess it's my brain took in the, the name. Maybe I did know it was silver. I bought this a, a, like a month ago. Um, but it is silver. It's not gold. But I think silver will be fine. It is fine because I've already done it. All right. So um, we, I went ahead and I spray painted. You need two of these shapes for every ornament that we make. And so I have six, we're making three ornaments. I know that will fit on my daughter's banister quite well. Um, I don't know how we're gonna string things in between or if we're just gonna hang them, I don't know. But as of right now, we're just making the ornaments. So I've got six of those. I painted with uh, the, the silver spray paint. And then I came back and I sealed it with the Mod Podge clear acrylic sealer. 
This is very important because this can tells you quite specifically that um, the whatever you paint is subject to scratching. So even though hanging from her banister probably wouldn't involve much scratching, I kind of wanted to keep it together as well as possible. So we are covering with a finish and hopefully that will prevent some of the scratching. All right, so what we do is you take a curved side and you, well, you take the flat side and you put it together with another flat side. Look, these fit together differently. My, the other ones I did, they were bowed out or something. And so all I did was I took, now I did not attach these before I painted. So you might have to go back and do a little spritzing to keep, to get the, uh, the cable ties the same color, or maybe you're okay with this opaque white not showing. I don't know. Um, I'm, oops, I put that a little too tight. That's all right. So we're going to, um, now because this one's not bowed out like the other one, um, because I got to have enough room to stick my, my ornaments in. So I did put them on the point. So let's, let's at least stick with that. I, I tightened that one a little too much. I might have to redo it. I don't want it quite so tight to start with. So there we go. I'm going to leave that one loose and I'm going to redo this one. I really don't want it tight to start. Okay. There we go. And I probably have, I don't have too many extra of these uh, cable ties, so um, I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up too much. I did kind of keep, so if I went to the right of this line on the first one, I went to the right of the line on all of them. And like I said, I'm not going too tight because we need to, um, we're going to stuff it with ornaments, with these wonderful ornaments from Dollar Tree. And um, it's important to try and find ornaments that are not too large or not too small. Too small, they're going to slip through these little grooves. And too large, it wouldn't let my uh, star sit flush together, the two frames. So, um... So yeah, that was, that was, mm, I'm not going to say a challenge, but because it, it happened, I found what I needed pretty quickly. Uh, as far as these colored ornaments, you know, I could have done like a crossover and then my, my uh, cable ties wouldn't be slipping. But, you know, thought about that a, a little late. I'll do this one that way. So it kind of stays at the point. So with my semi-prototype, it did not fit really flush together. So I, um, I, left, I left like a piece of it open so I could slip in my ornaments, but that's okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is I did leave it open here, so it, there is an opening. You kind of need an opening before we tighten everything down because we want to be able to put in our ornaments. And I am I'm actually going to use just, let's see, what are we going to use? I'm looking at all my colors. I have silver. Yeah, I am, I am going to use this, these three colors, I think. Oh, well, let's see. Silver and gold I was going to put together. Silver and blue, if I have a, even enough for that. And um, the green and the green and the gold. The green and the red together. Uh, I think I like red and gold together. So let's try and do that. Let's get these... All right, so these packs, these ornament packs, let's see if they give you any kind of, there's 15 pieces. Um, it doesn't really tell you the size. 
so you can see in my palm of my hand how big they are. Uh, if I have my ruler anywhere, nope, I do not. Maybe it's, sometimes it's hanging. Nope, it's not. Let's see, do I have, I have this ruler, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's about an inch, about an inch and a half diameter, roughly. All right, so all we're gonna do is kind of in your open end here, we're gonna pop these suckers right in. And like I said, my, um, my prototype that I started making these, it actually, the hole was bigger. So it's funny that it's not. All right, and I'm just dumping them in here, kind of letting them roll down to the side. There we go. There we go. I don't know if I can bring you back any further. Nope, that's closer. Here, let me pull the camera back. Can't really see too well what I'm doing if I do that, but. So in my mind, it was two colors and you're gonna have to like slide these in. Two colors per star. You can do whatever you want. Your stars can be all the same color. They can be varied colors. I, ne I definitely didn't want exactly like um, alternated, alternating with the same, like red, gold, red, gold, red, gold. I want it variegated to a certain degree. All right, now we might have to add in some green. Let's see. What I don't know is how many ornaments it takes to fill up a star. I planned on 30, but if that's the case, let's see, some of these greens, oh my gosh, they just really don't wanna come out of here. All right, so what I might need to do now is add in some of these other golds, the other style golds. Let's see if I can slip them in. Yeah. Or maybe not. <laughs> Okay, so there we are, we're full, we're full. So it took three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, three to four, 25, 26, 26. It took 26 ornaments. And now that I am full and we are, you know, where we need to be, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these, um, post these uh, cable ties. Oh, look, my cable tie went all the way down there. Now, if you wanted to, you could string 
some lights in here and, um, and make them light up. And I do have one set of lights, battery operated lights. And for my daughter, um, that would work because hers are going on our patio so she could reach over and clip the little lights. All right, there you go. Let's cut off the edges, the, the extras. And the other thing I can do if I really want to is take my, um, my silver spray paint and go ahead and uh, spray paint my cable ties. I I'm not too worried about that because I'm putting the, um, the big piece to the back and I think it'll be fine. Also on my prototype, because it was bent out, I did put a couple in the middle but I don't think that's necessary here. And I, after these settle down, I might need to put one more up here. One more right there. All right, so look how cute that is. All right, so let's put this one on the side and let's go ahead and let's work on the second one. Give me a second. I'm gonna clean off my table a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, I have gone ahead and pretty much hooked together things. Now I'm, and separated all of my ornaments from their holders. And now I'm just going to fill. So I'm gonna be quiet and just poom, 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 get these things in there and let's see how it looks. All right, all right, look how cute they are. And we're not even finished yet. Remember, you can string some lights in there and that would be really cute if you wanted to string some ribbon, like interweave ribbon. I like them just the way they are. 
I am going to add a hanger at the top and a bow. Okay, there we go with my very poor bow making skills. So this one is just sort of a poof. I do have, you will see the wire in the back because I don't know how she's going to hook them to her porch. And then this one is just, I don't know, it has some silver in it, gathered in the middle and tied. And then this one is the regular bow you saw me very poorly make a little while ago. All right, y'all, I am in love though with these ornaments. I think they're a adorable and they're not expensive to make one two three four so five dollars it's a five dollar ornament and that does not include your um cable ties but aren't they adorable they're going to be so cute up on her banister i just love them all right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget those likes and those subscribes and hit the notification bell and share this video with anybody that might be interested in making these adorable ornaments. And um, that's it. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you on the next video.